Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got our black GX customer in for phase three. Uh, and uh, first thing we gotta do is get this blitz bumper out of the truck by myself. So I brought a friend. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. No problem. All right, so it's later in the day. We got our prep basically done at this point. Our lights are installed in the bumper and we got our lines laid out according to the instructions on the Victory website. So now it's time to cut. Let's get to it. And my usual choice of weaponry for cutting bumpers is the uh, Diablo steel, uh, steel disc diamond cutting. parts we got some harness and stuff to get out of here so you got to be super careful with the sensors we used to have to replace them for rock chips so don't drop them that one's gonna fight me all right let me get this harness pulled out of here okay so our harnesses are out and we are uh, ready to install the swing out pivot points on the rear bumper and uh, we got our so our driver's side harness has two connectors and our passenger side harness has one um, parking sensors and reverse light harness goes in there Stop. get that all squared away uh, we'll get our sensors put in and get uh, our swing out hardware put on and then we'll be ready to try to stab this puppy so crush fingers all right, so we got everything all set. We got Cuzzy Jace here. You guys might have recognized him from his uh, old Chevy video. And uh, so anyways, we're gonna get this bumper set. Uh, all the prep work's been done. Once again, just follow the Victory 4x4 instructions up to this point. I think I called it the Blitz bumper. It's actually the Strike Bumper. Bumper. I'm sure you can figure it out. Give me a little uh, a little slope to it. Uh, so like the front pivot down, yeah, or will it? Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, that'll keep it from that'll keep us from dying. All right. Coming down with the lift. Interesting angle. The camera.
that ain't going nowhere okay so that was cool uh we got her all bolted up that took a minute um be aware from the heat from welding this thing probably bowed a little bit i'd use come along to the rear end and put some pressure on it we got these guys to line up no problem but these little m8s are uh they were kind of a they were kind of a bear so both sides but with a little mechanical persuasion Get it out! Two and a half inch exhaust tubing appears to be the trick. You got it? There we go. You got it all figured out? Yeah. You got it? Bomb proof. All right. I was that. Love my nuts. That's what she said. How's that feel? Feels good. Feels Right. Let's check the locking mechanism. Yep. Nice. Nice. That's a inch and a half for the record. Two thousand years later. Okay, so now I remember what I was gonna do. Um, since we added that BD light for reverse, we need to get wiring over to it. So the game plan is: I got some 18 gauge stuff here. Uh, those Squadron S ones, they don't hardly draw any amperage. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tie into the factory reverse circuit. Uh, it is two halogen bulbs, and so. Uh, the amp draw on those, I think it's a 10 amp circuit. Uh, the S1 draws like, shit, I don't know, two? I think it draws two amps. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna tie that one bulb and then I'm gonna trace that in here and then run it out and connect it into the BD. Then we're gonna run this convoluted with the reverse light, the license plate light and the camera wiring up to spare tire. So anyways, that's my plan. I'm gonna knock that out. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Alrighty, that's a wrap on phase three of everything you need and nothing you don't, building the perfect GX460. Here we go. Right back here. All finished up with our install. You can see our Victory Blitz bumper is all tidied up. We've got our Baja Designs Squadron Sports installed. Our license plate light is lit. Because these are so ridiculously stupid bright, um, I, there was a couple of holes here for mounting a high lift or something, and we're not gonna use that. So I cut in a Baja Design Squadron S1 and uh, mounted that in so that we've got a reverse light that's not gonna kill grandma when you uh, stop off at McDonald's or Walmart to pick up supplies for your weekend endeavors. Um, the swing out system. Latches, one thing we did note on here, you, number one, you don't want to just let it sl uh, sling and, and trust this just in case because you will bust a high dollar tail light. Um, I took the little knob off of here and uh, took about an eighth of an inch off the bottom so it would fall through further. It wasn't catching very well on the uh, little stainless plate. So something to watch out for on your install. You can see it barely goes all the way through. So uh, one thing to keep an eye out is that one. Um, the lights, 
we had to get, uh, due to parts availability, we had to get uh, spots, but I ordered up the lenses and swapped those out with the wide pattern. Um, this will give you basically a set of modern headlights pointing backwards if you ever need them at the touch of a button. That's all I'm saying. So, um, everything's all tidied up on the inside, and we got our factory spare that we don't need anymore. And uh, camera's been relocated from here. It is now with some substantial wiring effort. It's now routed through the accordion pipe in the door, down underneath, out, and then through here. Um, I guess I'll show you the wiring. Open that back up. So we just tidied everything up. This guy just tucks in right in here and leaves yourself some slack. Um, Got our wiring for our S1. Everything's all tucked in, nice and tight, zip tied it up. Runs through the center of the wheel. Comes out from underneath. And then your camera's located in this box that is uh, all steel and secure. And you know, you gotta make sure you recalibrate your brain for what the lines mean when you're backing up now, because um, that's not set up like the uh, stock apparatus all in all very happy with it uh, the install took a little bit of effort just from the heat of welding the, the bumper kind of pulled a little bit when it was manufactured so we did have to crank on it with some strap and uh and come along to get the bolt holes to line up a little bit so something to watch out for but like i say in order to be able to carry a full-size spare and have room for future LRA tank installs, wink, wink, um, you gotta do a full replacement bumper. So here we are, sleek and slick, and this thing is ready to rock. All right, guys, if you like what we do here, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we've got exclusive content coming for that. And if there is anything I can do for you, whether it be parts or fabrication or full installs or full builds, please feel free to reach out. Shoot me an email, cody at codycrafted.com. Check out the website. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Like, share, subscribe. Smash the bell. 